And here's the starting 11 for Lyon. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. The opposition starting 11. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Amandine Henri. And space to cross it. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. A concession of a corner here. Not showing good patience. Played into the box. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. On to Debritz. Ellie Carpenter. And played in. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight. It was a good finish, though. Now, who can she pass it to? And a chance for them to nudge in front. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. chance to do damage is it going to be and a goal to increase the lead in this final will they be stopped now well here it is again and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line and the finish is just as good that's an excellent goal Well, those stats tell you everything. Leon have enjoyed the majority of possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Well, the supporters think it's on. And that's two for her today. They just can't contain her and no wonder she's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Can they keep it out? In it goes! At the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled.
A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance at a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the spoon. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. It's really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.